hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you in this video how to um, configure the java web project like uh, i make i made a uh, lots of videos on uh, web projects from uh, by the you by the watching the video and uh, easily you can download the code the complete uh, source code about the project and the difficult part is uh, the difficult part for you like uh, how to configure this uh, uh, project in your local machine because you need some database plugins and some uh, some database plugins and uh, and uh, servers also so uh, here is uh, for every project i use uh, till now i use uh, netbeans okay if you need some java project how you can download first i'm going to show you how to download this project so just open your youtube and just type my channel java to android dot java 2 android java 2 android so when you type here you can see here there is a 58 videos on this channel okay the first thing is that what you have to do you have to just you have to just first subscribe my channel and because uh, if you subscribe my channel the benefit is that you can easily get updates about my new videos and uh, new projects so in this channel playlist you can see here uh, java pep project there is a 15 project something approx so like uh, you want to configure this project you want to use this online voting system project okay so just open this project watch this project till the end watch it till the end how it's working or so what is this functionality and so on and all this next next after watching this video if you like please subscribe my channel and uh, then if you need code just uh, this uh, click on this download complete project code okay when you click this the new window is open from here you can download just click on this button your downloading is start okay it will take some time okay okay you can check my complete channel if you like some videos please subscribe you can see a uh, lots of videos on android and uh, some videos on java some videos on pc and tricks and all there is a three or four or five playlist i think okay okay so downloading is done i'm going to go again okay so just open this file in your system just copy the complete and make a folder or something like uh, make a folder somewhere you want like uh, i want to copy this on my desktop only okay this paste extract it first extract here okay when i extract here there is a open this file there is some uh, three file one is database for database second is complete project and third one is read me on a uh, text file so first open it and please read it configure because you need some configurations uh, uh, tools which is easily which is clearly declared in this file so you need an id point zero, which i am using you can blow or you can use blow and upper and the next thing is you need a database mysql workbench workbench is easy for import and export the data and languages are used in this html jspn servlet you have a brief knowledge about the jspn servlet because uh, uh, if you have a knowledge you can edit uh, your uh, ideas and in according to you want uh, change the files okay next thing is you need a, a glassfish for server glassfish server i am using glassfish you can use anything you want like tomcat and all simply import like uh, first you need to import the database so there is a youtube video so just copy this link and in your you uh, in your channel uh, sorry in your browser and just check this video how to check this complete video how to import the data in your database right and after watching this video you easily learn how to uh, import the data in workbench database in workbench okay 
next thing is import the data import the file in your uh, netwings okay so i'm going to check my netwing i have already this project so i'm going to close it or uh, delete it so i'm going to first delete it okay sure i want to delete it <coughs> okay so in my netwing there is a no online voting system in my uh, in my database also there is a, a database voting so i'm going to drop this drop schema yeah sure so i drop my schemas i drop my project so i'm going i have a completely new project and i download from the youtube channel and i want to use it okay so there are lots of i want to close this Okay, leave it so where is my contribution okay there is some files like I have a three or four files in my database folder so I want to import first I need uh, I'm I want to make a um, so I want to import the database in my schema so just uh, search for import there is an option like server import export import okay import import from the folder which location i have to go on that location online voting system the database is there so there is a file voting the new schema and click on start import you have to pass your password also you have to enter your password also so database has finished okay now close it and refresh by clicking this button now you can see here the voting there is some tables these tables are time vote and voter register card these tables are on this project okay so i am going to check the data is as well as or not so select I'm going to write a query select a strict from voter underscore register okay. okay all the data is as it is so I have done my database part now I'm going to import this project in my netwin okay. so just right click on the project and go for import project from Eclipse cycle from Jeep just click uh, don't uh, go for import project just go for open project and go on a desktop and your project is online this project online voting system select this inside this voting for, for, uh, online voting underscore system folder there is a database folder and another one is a online voting system so just select this online voting system and open this project Okay. First, uh, first of all, right click on this project and run the project and try what uh, and check what error is going on here. What types of error? There is a no error. Okay, because everything is there in project. But if I remove this file, maybe in some case the file is removed automatically so it will show me this error <coughs> it's not going to show me error like uh, okay. clean the project Different. okay okay when I'm going to the database operation so there is some error there is some problems in database because there is some errors check so these types of problem are in the importing the data configure the project so you just download the Java connector file 
and right click on this uh, libraries and add and add libraries or the other option is that you can go on your property right click on project property go in libraries and add zar in zar i have already i download this mysql connector java you can easily download from google mysql connector java open okay okay just again right click configure now project is working fine like when you are going to run uh, entry a new entry like entry is uh, like uh, tashi the last name is tashi patel photo card number is tashi123 address is Nepal, 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 everything like zero one zero one ninety two. Contact number, anything you want. Okay, and the next email ID. Okay, user going to register. User is registered successfully. You can check your database again. So there is an entry for Tashi. So it's completely working fine and it's easily you can do. Okay, now one more thing you need to configure the GlassFish server. Okay, so for server you have to just go in services and check your servers. Here is my already GlassFish server is here. If you want to add server you don't have just right click on this server and click on add server and click on GlassFish, click on next. I have already if you don't have just click on this button and click on download after some time it will download and working fine so thank you so much for watching uh, in this video you see how to uh, import how to use this project how to configure the project and uh, in, in your netbeans and in your uh, workbench with database how to import the database and uh, how to use this codes how to use this project and uh, now you can easily change the code if you want to change something in these files there is some JSP files there is some uh, servlet files inside this default package and uh, there is some CSS files there is some images okay so if you if you like please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for more project for more video be connected thank you